Tony Hanley out. All right, it's that's up here. I'm now doing the t-shirt and dungarees. It was really hot. The beanies are. Now it's starting to get colder again. It'll be frosty again in the morning, I think. So, I'm spreading slurry. We're done with the umbilical work now for tankers. The uh, ground's starting to dry up the road, so I'll be going up there shortly, I think. The uh, feathers at the dung. I was in the field behind the shed there on the left. We've only got half of it to do. It's in the TM 140 at the moment, but that was because we were busy with the 7030 on the umbilical. Uh, I was rolling pipe up with uh, earlier this afternoon, so uh, he was continuing with the dung while I was doing that. Um, so I, it'll be back in the bed of the Mara, and then the 7040 will likely go on the dung spreader the Mara. Because it's a beast on the dung spreader. <laughs> 300 horse in front of me on the dung spreader. T7220 immediately behind. Slurry tanker. Dad is spreading in there in the bog field. And they've both hit a bump. With a bounce on that. There's no denying that that's heavier than this. So when I had that on the Surrey tanker, I was coming up here in gear 14-15, absolutely sending it, and in this, I can't get out of gear 12. Get 13 at the bottom, but you have to drop down to 12 halfway up, which isn't just quite all that handy, you know, because uh, that changes range between 13 and 12, so it's quite the jump, and you want to be nice to the gearbox, you know. So, spreading this wee field here, so then I can get up the road to the next farm. This is the last field spread here, everything else was done by umbilical, but this one's just going to get done with the tanker. The geese were in here and absolutely shredded this field. Just see all their dollops of uh, poop everywhere, all that white stuff. Everywhere. Must have been thousands of them in here. And then they were over on the neighbour's hawk, ate it to hell, and then somebody else further on ate a few of their fields to buggery. They geese are buggers. I mean, like these, this wet bit, this was black, starting to come back again with the grass, but it was absolutely black when they were in there. <sighs> oh, no need that. At least. At least they haven't hooked the grass out, which they're quite good at. Um, just ate it right down, then I spotted them. I was over there in another field, and then I zoomed over in the tractor and they flew off. But I'm not sure how long they were here when they ate the grass as much as that. This is barely one to hear any longer. Well, I'm not sure how your day goes going, but uh, mine just got pretty shitty. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> Switched the pump over to blue and it's burst the glass at the top and decided to rain all over me. A bit of a mess. So I think I better go for a shower for a change. This isn't any good. <laughs> Fuck me. Hey, I'm clean now, and now my poor tractor's all slurry, so... No ideal. She's, eh... Uh, hey, all slurry. And there's the bloody culprit there. The glass. Cracked. Seen it happen, i just seen it bubbling and then boom. And I could do nothing about it. And I got drunk. So I'll give this a hose because it's sunny and I don't want it getting welded onto the tractor. Everyone knows what slurry's like. Horrible stuff. Horrible stuff. So get a hose and try and get a glass, I suppose. 
My first reaction was uh, not very nice words, uh, very poor choice, but what could you do about it? And then I just did nothing but laugh, because what, what else can you do in these situations? <laughs> you're no laughing, you're crying. <laughs> There's no doubt I'm probably still stinking, but I can't even smell myself, so that's everyone else's bother. <laughs> Dad has kindly came round with the man basket because that will make hosing the roof so much easier. Do not forget about the roof. What a difference. She's all clean. She's actually cleaner than she was before the slurry got jetted all over it. <laughs> so, my mum's actually going away for the part. So, hopefully I'll have a glass today and I can get going again. Not sure how that happened, it just seems to be one of the things and hopefully it's not a regular occurrence. Because that was no nice. <laughs> For the moment I'm getting a shot of the dung with a big tractor the new while Dad's doing other things. While I wait on this uh, glass coming up the road, Mum's away getting it the new, she should be about there by now. And then uh, later on she'll be back and I can get that fitted. And then I can get it to slurry. Oh dear. On the upside, it's another beautiful day here. Very rare. Dung Midden's well back now. But didn't be fooled by the weather because uh, uh, there's usually, there is more likely to be snow in Easter than there is at Christmas the last few years anyway. So, unreal. <laughs> so, I might not be far away. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Um, so that was my bugger up of the day, but how could I forget about this little bugger up? Watch this next clip. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's happened there is uh, Dad decided he would uh, put a couple of buckets of not so good quality silage over the wall into the other pit, which is it's quite quick doing that, yeah, but he didn't check to see if there was anything on the other side and uh, yeah, just landed all over the tractor. <laughs> so, uh, not ideal, but we got that cleared up, uh, but just as well it wasn't uh, the block cutter, uh, a block of silage out of that, because that might have broke something. Loose silage is definitely better than it coming out of a block. <laughs> Unreal. Bro, oh, here we go. Always tight corners. I've made a mess of this. Oh no, I have they? <laughs> Got to be like that anyway for the big boy. Tight. Love the power. Love the power. Oh, power. <laughs> Dad spread this wee field here. The other half on the right, that's winter barley. The rest here is just spring and I'm driving up to this big long field here on the right and then once this one's done it's that big big hill up the back, the big hill. <laughs> Plenty to do, the winter barley's looking good though. Looking really good. Yeah. Bro, what a beautiful day. 
There's even a haze over the hills. <laughs> it goes on its way up. Floor engaged. Love this field, it's a beautiful long field. <laughs> Nice big long run. Dogs enjoying our chair. Gorgeous. <laughs> 